This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. So now, uh, as we know in the last class, we had done migration of extract and pump. Now let's well, let's see how to do the migration of in I mean in case of the per applicates. So this was the last time. So let me just can show in diagram. So standard, yeah, you have the source DB. Target TV. And then, as you know, in many of the real time, we have both ADG that is active data card and Golden Gate. So that's what we're having here. Standby source TV. Standby of target TV. Let me draw the regular flow of extract pump and over applicate. I'm just uh, avoiding the trail files now. I don't have much space over here. That's right. Extract pump. Replicate. So the regular flow. Extract reads from the Vuridu archive gives the trail which is taken by pump, pump writes to the RMT trail which is read by the replicate, and there it goes in the target. And here the source DB, here we have the active data guard over here. All right, so in the last class we saw. What are things to do when we have to migrate the source database? Like here, you can just over refer the whole thing. Now, let's see how it ha happens in case of the target. So just uh, same like last time, if you need to do any switch over or if there's a failover of the target database, okay? So it means that this will become the new primary And this will become, I mean, this is the standby now. All right. So, of course, the replicate, it will fail, right? Because what replicate is currently pointing to the standby, which is real, which is read only. So, you cannot do any updation here. So, the replicate has to be pointed here. So, one way, same in the case of extra confirm, whether you can migrate the replicate from this server. Okay, so let's take this as this is server X. And this is Y. So for example, you need to then you will have to migrate the replicate from server X to server Y. All right, but it won't be an ideal way because again, when you want to switch back to the old primary, again, you will have to migrate the replicate. So that's not a feasible one. I mean, uh, playing with migrating GG from one place to another is not feasible. All right, it's not even advisable. It's not like as straightforward as you do a switch over or you or do a switch back, right? So what I'll do, as I told yesterday also, what we're doing in case of extract, we just update the TNS entry. From okay, we just update the TNS entry to point to the new primary. So here the over applicate is up on server X, but it is remotely connecting to a database which is in server Y. Okay, let's see in that case, plain and simple. And then afterwards, all right. So now let's again. Now let's come in terms of migration, all right. Now for example, when uh, like if you have Oracle to Oracle and if you need to migrate the database, you know, 
then but one of the options is adg right active data guard so for example we need to migrate this db from server x to y so first i'll create a standby right will it run for a few weeks ensure everything is good no lag, no lag and all all right fine then one fine day we will switch over the application on server y right so this will be live in short when i say switch over right yeah so this is live right and normally what we do we just point the dns entry from the replicator which is still in x to the new primary and we re and we let it run for a few days you know why for example now whenever we do migration there are a lot of sanity checks right right from the application team and all in case if the testing fails and in case it is you know they decide to move back to the old primary then it will be very fast you don't need to you know play with gg around just update the tn T, I mean the TNS entry back to this one, right? Now, after a few days, if the sanity checks are done, now our work comes. Let's migrate this for applicate from here to here, right? So let's see the steps and all, how to do all that. Now, in my case, uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be just changing. Uh, within the same server i am changing the gg home like i am moving the replicate from one home to another the steps are absolutely same all right instead of me doing cp you guys need you guys need to do scp so this is my uh, original home the gg home that is slash u01 gg 12.2 c12 and this is my new g gg home slash user on gg target ogg 12.2 c12 and the source is over here okay so before that uh, i'll explain how we actually do it so They be, so first thing is we have to stop the incoming pumps all right stop all incoming pumps first okay wait, i'll show you a different diagram so. now i'll be focusing only on the target end all right that's my target tv or oh, not target tv sorry okay let me write here old new target tv and let us say i have more than one word applicant Rep one, rep two, rep three. So now I'm directly assuming that my database live is here. This is actually my live now. And my replicates are remotely connecting to it. here r2 is connecting here r3 is connecting here now let's assume that all these replicates have different sources right so you will have multiple pumps right this is my pump one pump two pump three One, from two, and from three. 
right now what are the steps we do first thing is i should stop all the incoming pumps pumps for the replicates it means uh, i'll stop pump one pump two pump three all right why because it's because in pump what we have are empty hosts right so here if the host is changing from this server to this server we should let the pump know right all or else the pump will keep on sending trades to the old server which will not do us any good i'll show you that case also today so stop all the incoming pumps stop the replicate uh, ensure you do this login okay now as uh, i have shown earlier in case of this extract and pump we copy all the parameter file global file checkpoint file credential store and all so let me write down it again copy param files or include files okay globals then set up the credential store or co copy it i mean help the whichever way you feel all this was a new new manager i would say yeah copy latest trail trail to new manager now you have two options either copy the checkpoint file or recreate or replicate so this uh, it is similar to what we had done for pump okay i'll show you in the practical way so let's do till this step okay and later let me update that update rmt host and mgr port in pump 2.2 new manager right that's the overview of steps so let me all right so this is the target manager which where i need to migrate all my over applicates i think this is the similar way when you will be doing upgrade okay i don't have extra vms i'm just showing you there the steps are same whether you move or replicate or extract from one server to another it is as good as moving it from one man manager to another you will understand when we do the upgrade stuff okay so now this conference will now be recorded hello everyone sorry i had some network issues okay yeah so let's start again so i hope this is clear right all the steps which are going to perform now so let's do it in practical and see how is it so first step as you can see here stop all incoming pumps it means what it means is that now i need to stop all the pumps which are serving these for replicates so first thing is to find those pumps right so if you have seen my session of how to find the ogg streams like if you have the web replicate name how to find this extract and pump or if you have the uh, extract name then how to find you know it's for respective uh, processes So let's start. The thing is, let me take for one over replicate at a time now. So in for replicate. So now I need to find in which server its pump reside. So take a log term utility, open the trail file, press N and enter. So here is the source server name, Mac1. And here is the pump name. So P E 
i n t uh, a numeric phi is always appended at the end of the pump name so just uh, i mean ignore that extract name is e x t i n t a and numeric six is always appended in front of extract name so let's see i mean is it true or not mac one This is Mac one. Pump name is P E I N T. So do we have that? Yes, we have here P E I N T. And what is the extract name? It is E X T I N T A. You have that here also, right? So uh, we don't need to stop the extract as it is not related. I mean, I mean, extract is nowhere a concern where the per applicate is because the job of extract is to write the trail on the local server itself only the pump is the guy who is going to give the trails from the source server to the target server from where the per applicate will pick so let me stop the pump all right pump is stopped and just do a login no first i'll show you only one per applicate at a time right. okay uh, i mean login this is login means what applicate has consumed all the trails which the pump has sent all right the replicate is also stopped so first let's see what to do this step is done stop all incoming pumps so i did for what f1 i have stopped pump one oh, this for an example stop the over applicate also now we need to copy the param files include file global files and all i mean it's the same way as you do for extract and pump and i mean you, you can see the same in my previous class So let's uh, see for the global files. Global file is not having much here. I just need to copy the same same thing. Instead of copy, I'm just just one line. So I'm just uh, copying and pasting the content. Now let's copy the parameter files. So parameter files actually I had already copied, but just to show you guys, I'll do it again. So I need to copy this parameter file. See, this is original GG, right? Original GG, and we need to copy to the target GG. This is my new GG home. If it was a different server, you guys would be doing SCP. That's it. No other difference you have here. And that you'll be you will be testing in its DIRPR. That is where we store all the parameters. All right, oh, one per applicate is done. What next? Set up or copy the credential store. Okay. let me check if we have the credential store here yes and i think we'll be having in the target as well actually i had done the pre-work but uh, it's okay we can just copy the files again d-i-r-c-r-t oh, let me first list the file over there we'll have the wallet file yep copy that file or you can just set up your new credential store whichever suits you why i'm saying this for example um, you have hundreds of gg process which are belonging to different databases 
and in the new target it's not an empty one right because my new target is empty so it's fine i can just do a ccp blindly but what if it had 50 processes here also so we cannot just overwrite the credential store you'll have to create a entry of it right so that's why the case will you have to do it manually yes here right so if i do credential store here in the target also Let's give it some minute, yeah. So you can see it is already there. If you want, just check it. User ID, yes. The VM is slow, so just don't mind that. Yeah. So login is working fine in target gg that is my new gg home so now the next step is to copy the latest tray so let's do that before that just check if you if the directory structure because i don't have everything directly in dir dat I have created sub folders, right? So you just need to ensure that these folders are there over here. Yeah, the folders are and these are the old trails. So just for now, just ignore them. I'll just move them. You guys don't do it. I know this is my own environment, so I know what I'm doing. But never ever just move or you know delete the trail files from your end all right so i'm copying the latest trail only actually why you are able to see the trail file in that new home because actually that was the original home uh, i'm recording this for the second time because in the first time i i think after 20 minutes my voice was not audible so i had to record this again so i'm just you know doing it okay so you can see the files are already there that's it it's fine it's no big deal yeah i could have copied the whole thing anyways all right this is my target gg home and i have the structure the same so let's have that dir dat right. So let me check if the trail file is there or not in the target gg yeah it's there 16. then you need to copy the checkpoint file or recreate it so first let's me copy it all right i'll just show you one case at a time dir chk copy this replicate rep, and copy in the dir chk so once you copy the checkpoint file you will see the process over here that's it you're saying it right then update the rmt host and mgr port in pump 2.2 the new manager okay and now you've got to be careful here you know in case if you miss this what can happen let me show you that for now let me start the replicator here meanwhile let me show what happens so uh Till this step, all right. Till, for example, if I miss to do step number seven. So, if everything is done, done till step six. So, what will happen? My replicate from here 
okay well let me do it only for one since i did only one it's for applicate from here it will be here right just join it for so this guy here here and here okay correct ideally it should be this way right but currently i have not updated the rmt host and rmt tail so it is still pointing to this server right and when i start my pump again it's going to send all the trails over here in the old server whereas my work applicate is up here in the new server well the pump is not aware of it and the work applicate is not aware of it so in so it's like both are i would say hung or not even aware of each other and it pump pump will keep on piling up the trails over here and what applicator is just waiting i mean it, it will just wait infinitely and only until application team come to you and say guys you are not i mean able to see the data being replicated that is when you will understand right so to avoid that issue okay first i'll show you that issue let us replicate that issue all right let me start that pump and we'll do some transaction also so that it can generate some new trails and new entries in the trail meanwhile okay. let me check the table name Employ new, I guess I can use that one. Okay, employ new to be an AMP in the target. All right. so let me one second, what happened? Just again, I'm not sure what happened to my BM. Why is it this way? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, I'll open a new terminal. I'm not sure what happened here. So in case, uh, just one thing, in, in case you are in the server and you want to know where the GG is running, I mean, what is the of the location of the gg home and all just to grab mgr and here you go this i'm just setting up the environment variable that's it Let me log into the database. What was the table name again? AMP new. Okay, so we have 20 rows. So let me do one insert. Okay. 
Cook test one. When it won't come it. Just go and check the stats of that extract. I'm doing hourly, I just don't want my multiple outputs. Okay. So my extract has gathered as you can see here. Let me do the same for my pump. Yep, my pump also took. Now here is the thing. I have not changed the pump, the new manager information in the pump. So see here. Okay, I used IP as I told you earlier. I have, I mean, I have not set up the DNS and all. So in the same server, we have two managers here with different MGR ports. So with that only, we are going to identify them. Now, okay. Now this target TV, all right, where this is where I need to migrate my replicate, serving manager port as 8000 and the original is having 7810. The thing is, pump. Now let's see, pump has written to which rail in the target. The pump has written C here to C sequence 18. Latest and RB24889. But now when you see here, okay, and and one more important thing whenever you migrate, uh, you know, your whatever replicate, always uh, in the old home, rename the checkpoint file. Else, if someone starts here, it will be a big mess. Migrated. Now, what was the trail file of the location? Well, see, you have not received the trail, but if you just fire this in the old home, well, yeah, see, you got 18, 17 here. So, now what? Now, if we miss this, you know, the pump will be sent from the source team and all. It will just go on in the old home. That's it. And our replicate, this guy, is just waiting. He does not know that a new trail has come because it has come to the old home. So now how to solve this, all right? The first thing, stop your replicate here for now. And first thing, let's stop the pump from making it send any more trails, okay? Right. This normally happens, you know, uh, what I have seen like when, for example, your source database is with some other vendor and target is with you, right? So when the communication is not proper, uh, this can occur. Okay, the pump is stopped. So what I'll do for now, I will copy the trail file manually. This is, I'm saying the easiest way. So if you see here, there are two, three ways. Either you can make the pump re-extract or no, resend. We can take the pump backwards. That I've shown you uh, in the practical of pre and well, when you miss some trail files and all. Here, I know I have the trails available in some other location. So, I'm doing, you know, I'll say work around cheeky one. But yes, that solution is there in my class uh, in the, of trail file missing or corrupted. So you can check that. Right. For this thing, I'm giving you an easy workaround only for this case. So now I know that the trail file, I mean, the latest trail file, which I copied from old to new server was trail file. Sequence is 16 and it was this is its size 2486. So 16, 2486, fine. 
So it means my over applicate has read everything till sequence 16. Now I just need to give give my over applicate these two tail files. Right here I go and let me do the next one 18. So now if you check, yeah, I have the files. And meanwhile, let me change the pump information correctly, right? So the IP will remain same, no doubt. If you want, I can show you that also. This one I do one six eight fifty forty five. Yeah, one nine two one six eight fifty forty five. One nine one six eight forty five. So I have that. Only I need to change the manager port. The manager port of my new home. Let me check again. It is 8,000. So let me do that. Okay. There we go. Now, it's a good thing like from 12.2 and above, you don't need to do ET rollover and all. Well, in case if you need to do, then you can check my session of ET for rollover also and what all things you need to be careful about. Anyways, but still this will not solve the issue. I'll show you why. I phase this earlier, so well, let's see if you are facing this again or not. Okay, the pump is good. Yeah, I got the new trail 919, right? So let me start my over applicate. Now let's now see the checkpoint lag is four minutes. It means it has not been updated till that time. So let's, let's see if it is resetting. Okay, so now if you see, it has checkpointed, right? But still, it is not moving forward. Why? Okay, so the thing is, uh, like if you know, the pump had already started over there, right? And it, it wrote in the old home, these two, by 17, 18. So at that point, it would have written end of file flag. So thing is, for any file in Linux, unless you have the EOF flag, EOF, end of file flag, it means the file is not completed, right? So here, we replicate things that 16, the tail file number 16, is still, uh, I mean, has not reached its end. It's still waiting for that file to be updated. Whereas the pump has already started, as you can see, it has already started way ahead and it wrote trail file sequence 19 also. Right? Because earlier we copied only two trails, right? So 17 and 18 over here. But once I started the pump, it wrote trail file sequence 19. So here you need to manually make it make the replicate move forward and if you see in the trail file number 16 rbs 2486 16 2486 so it, it has read everything of 16. so that you just need to move them always before doing any alter very good practice always do a tb login i say that in all my sessions Alter replicate F02 EXT SCQ and all 17. And you want it to read from the next trail file, right? Right from the start of the trail. So yeah, EXT RBA 0. 
now start give it some time yeah see now it has went on and let's see the stats should have one insert right yep if you want to verify it let's log in and check i know the password of cg user so i'm just directly doing it you guys might have your own application user so just use that this is a target table so this was my Android 4326 yeah 4326 right test one precedent test one precedent all right now let let me show you another case where you have to recreate the per applicate okay as shown in the case of pump you need to recreate in this case now for example if you do info pump okay for example when you do info pump pump here okay you just see a relative path right because normally we store all our trade files inside the IRB ID. So that is always under the GG home. So that's why you go dot slash miss GG home, then the IRD and all. So copying the checkpoint file works very easy here. But what if you have a case where the pump, if you see, if you do in info pump or info per applicant, you have the absolute path. Right, right, right from slash u01 gg user 12.2 and all. Then D, then you have this dir dat. Ideally, if you see here, I have normally a dot slash, right? But no, you have like this. Then what to do? Then if you copy the checkpoint file, it will not work because it will. No, if you see here, what is the gg home here? Slash u01 gg user 12.2. And what's here? User one gg user target OGG 12 point. So the folder structure, the naming the convention is not same. So once you copy the checkpoint file, it will copy the same thing. And which will not work, right? If the TG home naming the convention are not same. So at that case, we have to recreate the over applicate. And in GG version. 12.3 and above even if you give relative path right, dot slash it will take the whole absolute path only so now this is 12.2 versions but if you are migrating or upgrading from 12.3 and above for example from 12.3 to 18c or 19c you have just one option to recreate the word applicator so let me show you that option So let me uh, first find, you know, it's pump and all. all right, it's also in Mac one, PEXT zero two A, and extra name is EXT zero two A. Right, so do you have it here? Yes, we have it right. PEXT zero two A and sorry, EEXT zero two A and PEXT zero two A. So let me stop the pump. Same steps here are going to follow. It's like again stopping all the incoming pumps. Stopped. So let's copy the basic parameter file and everything. Let me stop this for replicate first. Oh, before that, just do a login. Yeah, it's given yes, no problem. Open the parameter file. Let's 
is my new gg right target gg and that one the ipr file copy it credential store it was already done in the first step by like pop up it the first for replicate now then copy the bullet tray Don't mind these trails for now. Assume it's not there. Is it? So we have any trails now in the target? No, I don't have. So let's copy them. Copy the bullet as well, or you can copy all. I mean, like I'm just copying the bullet. I'm I'm just copying which is the a required one, they say. All right, the trail has been copied. Now, I'm not going to copy the checkpoint file. I'm going to recreate the for replicate. So, before now, here is where I will. Just identify the checkpoint table. Yeah, checkpoint table name. See, the replicate is not there. Now I need to recreate it. So I'll first do a DB login. DB login. All right. Let me show you the content of the checkpoint table first so that you can understand it better. What is the importance of this? That has been already covered in the previous classes. Okay, get the wrong password. name and ch in the checkpoint table uh, the primary key uh, i mean have the composite key of group name and group key create timestamp and current directory Wait a second. Which database is this? Oh, I got into the wrong database. I'm sorry. TRG. Yeah. So, you can see the replicate name. Group ID that is auto generated when it was last updated when it was created, and what is the current working directory? So if if you see now, once I started my replicate, the first one, F02, it has updated the information of the current directory. Now here, because in that case it was the relative part, as I can show you. No, but for example, assume you have a absolute path, all right? Then what to do? So ideally, what you should do, you should delete the entry. You should delete the replicate from the old GG home and then add it back here. So let's do that. Correct. Okay. Always delete the, the correct one. Okay. If you have any issue, if you don't feel confident, take a backup of the checkpoint table beforehand. Now delete, replicate, RP02A. Okay, meanwhile, just make sure you have all the information. So, rep02A, 
from which trail you need to start and all just have this information handy okay i have this it was in last trail 17 all right okay fine i'll take it deleted now let's see if you log in back Yeah, yeah. That what applicate is not here. So let's create it over here. So add replicate RP0. Now this is the new new home, right? EXT trail. Always note that in uh, you know any notepad and all. So 17. Next to RBA 272, right? Checkpoint table. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Next to trail, the trail, the trail path. Here, R1. EST CQNO 17, EXT RBA, what was that? 2727. Two, seven. Checkpoint table. This is the table name. Okay, so you have your replicate up right. Okay, now you will not see the entry here until you start it. So, meanwhile, let me update the pump also with correct information. I need to just update the manager port name to 8000. Since that is the manager port of my new GG home, right? Yeah, 8000. Let me check if any new trail have arrived or not. Yeah, you can see 18, right? Just start this. See, this time I didn't have to move the replicate to the next trail because the pump had written end of file on the trail file number 17 over here. So this for replicate is good. Now if you check the checkpoint table, here you go. You have the entry. Now I can see the create date. Last update date has been updated. Now let's go for this REP 0 to be. Now in this case, uh, I will not delete the replicate here. Okay. Well, let me show you that. Again, let me find who is the source. Mac one PXT zero two B. All right. Now let's go here. PXT zero two B. Let's stop this for now. And stop. Let's quickly copy everything. The parameter file. Trail files. trail right okay i didn't stop the replicate so let's do a login first okay that's great 
I hope this is the last trail. Yes, it is. Let me, yeah, let's check if this is added. We might find some trails, some old trails. Yeah, let me clean them first. So now again, is this trail here? No, sure. let's copy the latest one. Yeah, I have it here. Let me do a TV login. Okay. So let's add the web replicate now over here. And also let me log into the checkpoint table. Okay, we have, still have an entry of privacy zero to be, but of the old GG home. This is my new home, right? Target GG user one, GG user target and all. And replicate RDP zero to B. EXT trail. You can check from here if you want, or I have it above also. XT SEQ and all. The last trail it was writing to 12. So it was reading from 12 and EXT RB. What was that? 871. Now checkpoint table. Let me edit the pump information also. Eight thousand. I show no idea. Just check if we have the latest trails, uh, new trails given by the pump. Yeah, thirteen. We are all set here. Now we start. Before that, if you want to check the checkpoint table, you will not see any entry. Here it will create a new entry and not update the existing one. See here. We have two entries for REP 0 to B, REP 0 to B. Only the group key have changed. And this is the R1, and this is the actual one. If you want to check which is Actually, you also have the or the latest one. You also have the column for the checkpoint table. Sorry, uh, for the SCN. Then just compare and see which is this SCN log complete CSN or log CSN. You can just check from that also, or you can just uh, alt uh, session set analyst state format. Run this. It's twenty four forty three. Twenty so is twenty two forty three. So here you can see when was it created. So you can identify that. That's easy. So here what applicate is up and running. But uh, I mean if you feel that no you don't you i mean you should not keep i mean say because this put a put applicate it will not hold any meaning now if you want to delete it i would not recommend this but yeah if you have to do it then you can you can just take a backup of the checkpoint table that's very 
important very very important so delete from checkpoint table i'll just delete the old entry i have identified this is my old entry right because see the create date is almost uh, almost 10 hours behind so where group name equal to this and group key equal to this just again don't commit it yet just say it again yep look look at the correct working directories all are the latest one so that's the way you migrate your over applicate in case of upgrade also you will be using the same step the same i mean yeah there's some i mean some changes that i will show you but yeah the basic logic remains the same so even if you want to migrate gg within the same server in different gg home or to another server the steps are same except ccp it is scp okay guys so thank you very much i'll upload the new sessions for upgrade very soon thank you all